Hello, I'd like to talk to you about frequency and relative frequency. As it mentions here, frequency is how often something happens in a category and could be different people, could be different groups. We're going to be doing a question down here that looks at how at the Boston Marathon 2005, just grab some numbers, these may, may or may not be correct. But we just wanted to see, okay, how many people got three hours or less? So it looks like just one person got two hours and 59 minutes, which is less than three hours. So there's one. One person got three, three hours and 15 minutes. And here's a second person, three hours, 26 minutes, which is less than 3.30. And then 3.29. So these three people are the frequency of people between three, three hours and one minute and three hours and 30 minutes. And 3 hours and 31 minutes to 4 hours, 3.31 looks like this one, this one, 3 hours and 54 minutes, and 3.47, and also the 3.59 looks like all four people, so I wrote down four people earlier here. And then how many people got four hours, or over four hours, I should say. So it looks like these two people right here. And I could have written these as um, over three hours to three thirty, and over three hours and thirty, or three over three. I can't even say my categories here, but we're just trying to split up the categories. Less than three hours, um, the half hour between three hours, a little over three hours, and three thirty, a little over three thirty to four hours, and over four hours. So we have, looks like we have ten run runners we're looking at and one of them th less than three hours, add all these up, one plus three plus four plus two, hopefully adds up to 10. I think it does, hopefully I'm safe in that. So we have our frequency, how often, how many people are in each of the categories, where each of the categories is, how long did it take you to run the Boston Marathon? Now let's look at relative frequency. Well, relative frequency is the frequency in the category, such as, here's a one down here, that looks like, not a huge frequency in that category of three hours or less, and divided by the total number. So one divided by 10. Well, let's write that here. I think I'll write it in red. And actually I'd like a little bigger than that one. So I'm gonna write that big. And so one divided by 10, so like a 10, is equal to point 0.1. 3 divided by 10 is equal to point 3. 4 divided by 10 is equal to point 0.4 or 40 percent. 2 divided by 10 is 20 percent. I'm going to write that as point 0.2. So there's my point 0.2. It's supposed to be a 2. That doesn't look like a greatest 2, doesn't it? Does that look like a 2? And so 10%, 30%, 40%, plus 20%, hopefully adds up to 100%. So the, so we'll put one down here. If you have everybody, hopefully it adds up to 100% of everybody. Now cumulative frequency, as it mentions here, shows the total number of data values that are less than or equal to a certain value. Well, how many people ran in three hours or less? One. How many people ran from three hours and 30 minutes or less? The one before plus three more. Four. Well, now four people ran three hours and 30 minutes or less. How many people ran four, four hours or less? Well, we picked up an additional four plus the four who we already counted, which is four plus four is hopefully eight. Does that look like an eight? Okay, and then who ran in over four hours or less. Well, that's eight plus two, which hopefully is pretty close to 10. And if we take the one, you know, and now that we've added everybody who ran in some hour period, that hopefully adds up to everybody. So here's 10 here, and here's the total. Now, cumulative relative frequency. Now, cumulative, relative, we're putting it in a decimal form, per 4%. And as I mentioned before, if it says percent frequency, we're just putting it as 10%, 30%, 40%, and 
But let's do it for cumulative relative frequency. So we take the cumulative frequency divided by the total. Right, here's our cumulative frequency of 1 divided by the total of 10. 1 divided by 10 is 0.1. 4 divided by 10 is 0.4. 8 divided by 10, let's see if I can write very well here, is 0.8. 10 divided by 10 is 1, 100%. And so, you know, cumulative frequency by the end, once we have the percentage of people who ran some time to the race, that's hopefully 100%. People who ran four hours or less is 80% of the runners in our sample of 10 runners. And so that, so we just finished calculating the relative frequency, cumulative frequency, and the cumulative relative frequency. In other words, we're just looking at percents. And the thing to remember is these definitions up here. Hope you enjoyed it. Talk to you later.